just recently, the Federal Reserve reduced the interest rate. That could be a sign the economy is slowing. So with a recession, so with that, a recession is more likely. So with that in mind, we have Derek Hodges here to talk about how we should prepare for this if a recession does happen. So, of course, thank you so much for joining us okay. this morning. But first thing first is probably building that emergency fund. Talk a little bit about that and how that could be an important first step. Yeah, so whether a recession is imminent or not, mm -hmm. sort of like the hurricane in Florida, yeah. we never quite know when they're gonna hit, but we do know recessions hit. Mm -hmm. So having excess cash laying around in case you lose your job right. or expenses go up, that's always just a foundational item. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that is maybe important, something to look at right now, I know that some people may have some debt mm -hmm. and reducing that debt might be another good idea to prepare. Yeah, especially credit card debt. Mm -hmm. I think credit card debt, car loan debt, those are the ones that I would typically say really need our focus. And this is where what the Federal Reserve did last week by lowering interest rates should help you now use that boost that you're gonna get with those yeah. lower interest payments to start accelerating the reduction right. and hopefully elimination of those debts. Yeah, that's probably a smart idea to really think about that then. And something else that I feel like is really gaining popularity kind of this time is a side gig. I feel like more people yeah. are looking for second jobs. Could that be something that's beneficial to find, you know, right now? Yeah, I think, you know, being resilient is so crucial during economic downturns. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, going out, if, if it just takes another job to yeah. bring in some extra money, that's huge. I think it's, you know, you do what you need to do to get through those rough patches. Mm -hmm. And just always remember these, you know, recessions that we talk about, if and when they happen, they're short lived. They, yeah. they only happen for a season and then we kind of get back into prosperity. So, you know, having that posture of if I need to get a side hustle mm -hmm. to get through this season, it's not going to be forever. Right, right. I think that's something that's good to think about. And something that I probably need to work on, cutting non-essential spending. That can be so hard for some people because you see a t-shirt or you see something that you really feel like you need, but probably during these moments when the, the economy is kind of unstable, that's probably something that we need to maybe lessen is our spending. Yeah, you know, I think uh, we're Americans. I think yeah. we're all in that boat. So I think it's really essential that we align our purchases mm -hmm. with what matters to us most yeah. and so oftentimes I think what gets us into trouble is we do these extra things right. and then we might run short when it gets, gets to the bigger things in our lives you know our house payment our our cars or whatever and I would just say that rather than think about I need to cut my budget or mm -hmm. cut my spending think about reprioritizing how I deploy my money yeah. and think of it as okay I may not go out and have that extra nice coffee in the morning one time a month or one time a week, yeah. but in exchange, I'm going to have greater security. Mm -hmm. I'll have more access to money to do other things that ideally are more important. Yeah, I feel like that's something, you know, we have to think about long term. How is that going to affect us, you know, down the road when we are spending, you know, $10 a day on a coffee that we probably <laughs> don't necessarily need? Uh, something else that people have really, you know, gotten into that's investments. Is this a time that we should reevaluate those investments? Yeah, so gl glad you asked this. I think we know from experience recessions happen. Mm -hmm. And so whether we're gonna go into one or not, I don't know. What I can say is there will always be elements of uncertainty as an investor. So sort of like our spending, aligning our priorities, right. aligning the purpose of these monies is really key. Mm -hmm. So if I'm 20 years away from retirement, I'm not really so sure I care a lot if we go through a recession or not, because right. my money will have time to heal mm -hmm. and recover and rebound. But if I need that money in the next 12 months, 24 months, I probably should not be all in the stock market. Right. So there needs to be the proper blend or allocation of investments. So it's always important to be evaluating that. Mm -hmm. I would just say if I'm, an, if I'm a retiree, I don't think I want to be completely out of stocks just right. because I think the markets are going to get a little funky. I think I just want to have buckets of money mm -hmm. that I can reach into that aren't as affected yeah. in downturns. Most definitely. And you know, something else is this isn't a time to panic. Recessions happen. It's happened before and we've always made it out from under. So, you know, we shouldn't be scared necessarily. Not a bit. You know, the folks in Florida, 
They are, they're used to hurricanes. They get shutters, they build their houses higher, they do the things necessary. We should just be prepared yeah. for economic storms. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of them, just know they happen. Right, I think that that's probably, you know, one of the best pieces of advice, advice is just to know that, you know, things are going to be uncertain and that's just the way that life goes. Derek, thanks so much for joining mm -hmm. us this morning and talking a little bit about this. Hopefully you learned something. We'll be back in just a bit.